Mm-hmm. You know, I'm reading this book right now. Uh, is it The Religion with No Name? It's about the Eleusinian Mysteries. I should get that right. The Immortality Key, The Secret History of the Religion with No Name. Um, okay. So the Greeks, Greek society was grounded in um, a spiritual experience and practice that's centered on Eleusis. I hope I have that pronounced properly. Um, the initiates were inducted into the Eleusinian Mysteries. And this book is one of a long line of books, a relatively long line of books, really started in the 1960s, suggesting that shamanic experiences, which are tens of thousands of years old, perhaps older, and religious practices in more sophisticated societies that were profoundly influenced and affected by hallucinogenic substances. Mm -hmm. It seems highly probable to me. In fact, I think the evidence is incontrovertible. We have no idea what to do with that fact. Now, the hallucinogens, the psychedelic experience adds an experiential element to religious belief, religious yep. thinking. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't know what we don't know what to make of that. We don't know what to make of the fact that Apollinian Greece, this shining beacon of rationality, was embedded inside a mystical psychedelic experience. Right, right. Well, okay. and so our, our modern religions, they're, they're experientially dead in, in a very unfortunate way. And I, I mean that, really mean that it's unfortunate. Mm. But even okay. the materialism is, it ha suffers from the same problem. So, Wait, so how, I, what, do you, what do you mean by that, that they're, uh, they're dead? What do you mean exactly? Well, if you go to a rave, even if you don't take any substances, yeah. the music and the dance can produce an experience that lifts you outside of yourself. Mm. Yeah. And an intense aesthetic experience can do that. And we have our, our religious structures in the West are divorced from that to a, to a, to a degree that I think is, is, is mm. untenable over the long term. And we insist upon faith. We mm -hmm. insist upon a faith that the rational atheist types find contemptible and have very powerful arguments at their fingertips sure. to, yeah. to drive home. Mm -hmm. Dawkins and, and Sam Harris and, yeah. and, and Hitchens, those people are formidable intellectually and, and mm -hmm. they, they take apart, at least from their perspective, these preposterous supernatural claims and, and leave everything in ashes on the ground. Mm 